So there's several ways to start a dog in drafting. This is one of the ways I use. You can use a PVC pipe. And I'm just using a shaft I took off the cart. You want to make sure the dog is used to the stick. So you want to bump it against the dog, tap it on the dog. Tell, oh, that's a good girl. If you're just now starting, I use clicker training. I would bump her. Good. Nice job. Bump her again. Oh my, what a good dog. What a fantastic dog. And get them very used to this. You want to spend a lot of time on this particular section because you want the dog to enjoy it. You don't want to force it. You don't want to do it immediately. Now there are some dogs that are okay being put into the cart immediately the first time that they're exposed to it and that's fine. But I really would rather err on the side of caution. Make it a little bit more safe for the dog. Okay, free. Um, occasionally, sometimes you will see dogs get into the cart the first day that they've been introduced. Oftentimes, the dogs are kind of scared and they're not really used to the noise. So when it comes to turning, the dogs tend to freak out. So that's why I like to take this particular section very, very slowly. So I would spend two to three weeks on this, just on this particular section alone. Okay. So I have a shaft in one hand, a treat in the other. I'm bumping her. Good dog. Good dog. Yes, good. Mm-hmm, good dog. Good dog. Yes, good dog. Come on. So you can do it yourself like I'm holding it. Obviously, Vestas are used to this. Or you can have someone else stand behind you with the stick. Um, I also sometimes have somebody stand behind making a lot of noise, rattling pots and pans or coins in a milk jug or something like that. You do want the dog to be very, very acclimated sound, noise, and touch. Good. Good job. Yes, very good. Nice job. Good girl. After your dog is comfortable walking with a shaft or some type of stick next to him or her, you can start by walking the dog with the cart here. You can have someone at the end or someone on this side tap the dog gently as you walk around with the dog. So see, Vesta's already used to this. We've done this for a little while now. Ready? And you would just bump her lightly with the shaft. And you want to do this for maybe two to three weeks. So this is a process you really don't want to rush. The other option is you can teach the dog to back up in between the shafts. So I have another video where I show Vesta backing up into the shafts and I clicker train that. So I teach her that being in the shafts, being like this, stand, good girl. This is a fun position. That anytime she's in this position between these two shafts, that she gets treats, it's a very good place to be. This is another variation of what you can do. Put your dog in the stand. Pull the cart up. Bump the dog. Treat the dog. Move the cart. Put the cart back on. Bump the dog. Good dog. I now walk a little bit with the dog. Good, good dog. Good, good dog. Nice job. Very good. Come on. Good dog. Yes. Then remove the cart. Pull the cart back on. Very good. Very nice. Good girl. It is not uncommon that when you do this, the dog will look behind it and freak out a little bit. But you just want to get the dog used to it. Take it nice and slow. Again, spend several weeks on this particular set of exercises. This is a very, very important part. We're not teaching the dog to cart. We're teaching the dog to enjoy carting. Very good. Very good. Can you back up in there? Can you back up? Good girl. Can you back up? Good. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. 